Okay, welcome back everyone. This is part two on how to make your own mods for Minecraft. Um, in this tutorial, I will teach you guys how to make your own recipes for Minecraft. This is actually very easy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go into, we're going to open up Edit Rocket. If you don't have Edit Rocket, uh, I'll probably add a link in the description or you... There's a link in the part one video. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to open up... Oh, man, 27 days left in my valuation period. Oh, whatever. I have 27 days to find a key gen or something. Anyway. Um, I believe I did not tell you how to open up Edit Rocket yet. So, anyway, this is how you open up Reddit, Edit Rocket. You want to... Uh, when you first open up Edit Rocket, it'll probably... Uh, uh, I don't know where this part will be. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go here and navigate to wherever your MCP folder is. This is where mine is. Um, and then you're going to want to go to sources. Just Minecraft, net, Minecraft, SRC. And here are all your classes. And if you click on, click on one, let's find a good one to click on. Sapling block sapling this is all the code for a sapling um yeah so you can edit it here and save it and stuff so what we want to do is we want to make a new recipe so we're going to uh type in c and look for crafting manager crafting manager here it is so here's the crafting manager um if you scroll down oh no you don't have to scroll down they're right here these are all the recipes in the game. All these things that say add recipe. Oh, look at this. I already have one. Okay, delete that. Just pretend you didn't see it. Uh, these are all the recipes that we have already built into the game. And we want to add our own. So we're just going to put it at the end here. I like to put a little comment to uh, show myself where the added recipes are and which recipes don't actually belong into the game. So you can put slash slash and write whatever. Uh, if you put slash slash, it creates a comment for those of you who don't know in Java, and the program ignores it, so you can just write notes for yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to type add recipe new item stack. I'm just copying what's written above here, because that's the model. Um, item dot, and here you type in uh, what you want to result from the recipe. So let's just say item.tnt and then you type in how many you want to result so uh, I don't know we'll say 64 the more the merrier um, and then we'll type new object square brackets squiggly bracket uh, oops oh fine let's press enter okay and this this is what I figured out uh, it's not that hard to figure out um, this is where you define how the item is made. See here, it says uh, this is the recipe to make a bed. It'll make one bed. I could have changed that to like ten if I wanted. If I want, if I'm lazy and I want to make ten beds at once. Um, the f this part here, the first group of random symbols, stands for the first row in a crafting table or crafting grid. I think uh, crafting table at the moment. I'm not sure about crafting grid in your inventory, I mean. But anyway, this is the first row. So if you put, uh, you can use any symbol you want, I think. If, for, for example, here there's a, th there's three number signs. Um, that means the first row is full. If he had put like this, that would mean there's one object in the top left corner and one object in the top right corner. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and then these X's, uh, you should use a different uh, different symbols for different materials that you use in the crafting grid. So here, these X's are a different uh, different ingredient or different uh, whatever you call it. I'm losing my mind right now. I can't think of the word. Uh, anyway, and this means this stands for the second row. So basically, there are the second row is full of something. And as you know, if you've played Minecraft before, a bed is made of three wool and three planks. So this stands for the three wool, 
one row full of wool and one row full of planks. And here we see it says character dot value of, and then it says a star block dot cloth. So block dot that that means that wherever you see a the no no not a star sorry, um wherever you see the number sign is where a cloth will go in the crafting grid. All right. And wherever you see an X is where a blo a plank will go in the crafting grid. I hope that makes sense. Please ask if it didn't, because um, anyway, you'll get if you don't get it, you'll get it just by playing with it. Okay, so to make this, we're going to say I don't know. Think of a recipe, guys. Um, let's use dirt, and let's say I want to make an X shape. Okay, so to make an X shape, we're going to have one piece of dirt. No, let's not use X. That's confusing because that's the shape I'm making. Okay, let's use the number symbol. We want one piece of dirt in the top left corner and then nothing in the middle top and nothing in the top right. So we're going to press space twice. Yep, I press space twice. And then we're going to do comma and move on to the second row. We want nothing in the first uh, the first space, the first column on the middle row, we want one piece in the middle of the crafting grid and nothing on the right. And then on the last row, we want uh, we want nothing in the first column, nothing in the second column, and oh shit, and one thing in the last column. Wait, that only makes half of the X, doesn't it? Oh, oops. Okay, so we're also going to want like this. We want an, we want two in the top row, one in the top left, one in the top right for the two to the top of the X. We want one in the middle of the crafting grid and we want one in each of the corners. Basically here we have one piece of dirt in each of the corners and one piece in the middle. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'm not very good at explaining things guys so just bear with me. Uh, okay and then we have to define what these number symbols m stand for. So we're going to type in character uh, dot value of. Ooh, why are you doing this? Uh, I think it was trying to suggest things, but that wasn't very helpful. Um, and then we're going to say the number sign. If you use a different symbol, you just put a different symbol in here. Um, and then you define what uh, ingredient that is. So we're going to say block dot dirt. And then we're going to do all this stuff here. That stuff is used to close. It's They're all close brackets. That's just how Java works. And I think that one's extra. I think that bracket right there has screwed me up so many times. Because when I type this one in, it creates one for you. And then I end up typing this in so I have an extra bracket. And it takes me forever to figure out why it's wrong. You have to be very careful when you're writing this code, guys. If you if you type one character wrong, your program will not work. It won't recompile properly. And yeah, it just, it just won't work. Like if you put the wrong capitals or whatever. So I'm going to take 10 seconds. And I'm going to check that this is right. Item.tnt, 64 comma, new object, square bracket. Let's put a space here just for fun. Um, let's go character dot value of block dot dirt. Okay. So, that's our recipe. Hopefully that's right. I might be missing something. I hope not. Okay, and now we're going to save. I already saved. And we are done coding. So we're going to go back into our MCP folder. Um, and oh, we have to open terminal. So I'm going to press command space and type in terminal in the spotlight. Open terminal. Wait for it to load. And this is what we're going to do. Just like when we set up the MCP, we have to CD it. Whatever that means. Um, I don't even know if you have to. It's better to be safe than sorry. Doesn't take that long to do. So CD. By the way, if anyone one wants to explain why we would CD this, please do. But logically, if you know why we're doing this, then you probably know how to mod already. So I don't really know why you'd be watching this. But uh, oh well. Anyway, you never know. Okay, so we're gonna type in. Oops. Ah. We're gonna type in CD space, and we're gonna drag in the MCP folder. Somehow this links the two, I think. And then now we have to type in bash. 
and we are going to drag in the full the file called recompile.sh. Remember when we decompiled the game? Yeah, that opened all the classes up. Now we're going to recompile and put it back together with our new changes inside. And it should take a minute or so. It says compiling Minecraft. One error that, okay, if you have uh, errors in your code, it'll say here. And don't be scared if it says 100 errors. I've had that before, and it's actually like nothing more than one error that's causing 100 other mistakes. So if you fix that one problem, it'll, all the errors will go away. And it's pointing at uh, item stack, item.tnt. There's something wrong there. So we are going to open back our edit rocket, item stack. Dot TNT. What what's wrong with that? Item dot TNT. Oh oh, is it block dot TNT? Oh shit, it is. See, this is what I'm saying, guys. This doesn't work if you type in the wrong thing. Obviously, it's called uh, TNT is a block, not an item. Items are things like fish and uh, coal and stuff. And blocks are blocks. Okay, so now we might have fixed the problem. We're gonna type in bash bash this recompiler again. Press enter compiling Minecraft. Uh, if you have any questions guys feel free to ask. I'm, I'll reply within a day or so at the very most. And now it says there's no errors. It says Minecraft underscore server jar not found but that's okay because we're not making a server mod. So now that the recompile is finished we can test the game. We're going to type in bash again. Bash is how we run these things. Um, and we're going to find this test underscore game dot sh and drag that in press enter and it should open a minecraft for me automatically oh that's beautiful okay so it opened a minecraft um, we're gonna go single player just go into a new world doesn't really matter so we can test our new mod oh here's my TNT um, there chuck that away okay so what we're gonna do is According to our recipe, if we get some pieces of dirt, we can make some TNT. Here I have my crafting table, because this is like my test world. Dirt. And this is the recipe I put in. Oh, and what do you know? We have TNT. We look at that. We just made TNT out of dirt fully functional TNT that chicken is about to get its ass kicked oh I'm sorry I'm very sorry sorry I gave I gave lots of warning and the good part is look at this this is like an investment look at this all this dirt I can get one piece of TNT and get all this dirt and then I can go back to my crafting table and craft more TNT um anyway I hope that was very informational for you guys now you know how to make your own recipes. Um, I will continue making tutorials on how to mod. I will make a tutorial on how to make your own blocks and items. Uh, I might make a tutorial on how to make your own NPCs. That will be in a couple of days, I think. I still need to figure it out myself first, but it shouldn't be too hard. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this. So if you like our videos, please subscribe. I'll make more tutorials if you guys like this kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.